we're here with Professor Gottfried Grech, who will now um, give us a bit more detail about the research that's going to be undertaken thanks to these funds. So thank you very much. Um, so the project is about uh, colorectal cancer. So we have been building a lot of information and uh, we did a lot of basic research to actually um, understand the mechanisms uh, of colorectal cancer. Uh, it is different um, types, there are different types of colorectal cancer, so we're trying to subdivide them into different, in different groups according to some molecular markers that we use. And then eventually when we have all these uh, different types, we also want to try, we are looking at the mechanism of spread of an, an invasion, um, that's called metastasis. Um, and from there, we, we, we also would like to look into the pharmacological part, so which drugs will, will um, uh, treat specific types of cancer. This is a group effort, so um, I come from one department, the Department of Pathology, but this uh, project is uh, going to be um, a group effort between different departments. We have the per Department of uh, Physiology and Biochemistry, um, uh, Department of Anatomy, and Department of um, uh, Pharmacology and Clinical Therapeutics. So all together we'll be working on this uh, project to actually um, uh, study colorectal cancer and put them into different types. Uh, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Um, now we're here with Dr. David Saliba who will uh, um, explain a bit more about the research that's going to be undertaken um, thanks to these funds. Yes, uh, thank you. So indeed, uh, this is a three-year project uh, and uh, we are working, we've set up a team, uh, myself and uh, Professor Jazan Basallo, and we're looking at pituitary neuroendocrine tumors. These are tumors that occur in the brain, in the pituitary, uh, to be more specific. And we are looking uh, at very cutting-edge uh, research. And uh, the current uh, philosophy of uh, treating cancer is to look at uh, how the immune system uh, keeps certain cancers under check. Uh, and also uh, there are some cells within the tumours that can escape this, uh, this constant, uh, uh, this constant uh, checking of, by the immune system. Uh, so, so we are looking really if uh, in the pituitary there are immune cells that are uh, present that keep uh, these pituitary tumor cells uh, un, 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 uh, under check, but also uh, there are current therapies that are used for other cancers, and we need to see whether these uh, therapeutic targets are present within these uh, pituitary neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, of course, it's a, it's a very complex field, and there are some immune cells that, as I say, uh, keep the cancer at bay, but there are also some other immune cells that might uh, actually contribute. Uh, so it's, a, it's kind of like the opposite end of the, uh, the other end of the stick, uh, uh, where, they, where they actually uh, pro promote uh, tumor progression. So if we, we need to really assess which cells are playing the key roles within these uh, pituitary tumors, uh, of which we uh, have uh, very delicate surgeries uh, in about uh, 10 patients a year in, in Malta. And, and many uh, uh, people do suffer. This is one of the most prevalent brain tumors in adults. So it is very exciting research. Uh, it will generate hopefully a lot of uh, knowledge. Uh, on these uh, pituitary neuroendocrine tumors, potential uh, discoveries that will then, in the future, uh, be used by the scientific community to come up with uh, some form of uh, therapeutic strategy. Thank you. Thank you for your